Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies for the Nintendo DS. Today we're gonna be completing the rest of the mini games, but before we do, we wanna hop back into the Zen Garden because I've been growing some more of the plants as we've been going on between episodes. One thing I wanna keep in mind that is a little bit weird about the DS version of Zen Garden is typically once you full grow a plant, be it a marigold or one of these random ones on the right, usually they will eventually require something like the spray bottle or the uh, audio music player, whatever it's supposed to be. And once you play that for them, not only is it supposed to give you a golden coin, which is worth 50, but after they do that, they're supposed to just produce coins randomly throughout the day, just out here like this, and then the snail is supposed to pick them up. But for whatever reason, in the DS version, they never produce the coins after. They produce the 50 coins, and then that's it. So what that means is something like the spray actually isn't worth the money because I'll get 50 coins here, but then they'll never produce anything more after this. This top lane up here hasn't been doing anything since I topped them off. So at this point, it's better to sell them because the spray is worth a thousand. So if we're only getting 50 coins out of each spray, we're losing, what, a 200 coins of spray? So definitely not worth it. So I don't think we're gonna worry about that. Okay, maybe now it's working out. I've said that's literally the first one I've seen do that. Uh, but it seems like it's a really slow rate, much slower than it is in the original PC version. So that's where we're just gonna start selling them. We get 3,000 for a fully grown marigold, so I really don't mind either way. And for these bigger plants over here, we should get 8,000 for the kernel pulp. And we'll use this to buy more marigolds, of course. But we got the squash here, also gonna make us 8,000. And of course, we got the tonnet over here. What do you know? Another 8,000. That's why it's well worth it to you know, sell these bigger plants for sure. So I think we're just gonna sell the whole host of them. And of course, we'll get some more marigolds out of it soon too. So we're jumping up a lot of money and we make a lot of money out of it for sure. So there we go. If we go to the shop, I'll buy a couple of uh, marigolds for right now. So uh, our prices are unbelievable. One way or another they are. So we'll just buy a couple of these, which it seems like they don't sell out. Typically they do, I think. Um, but we still have a lot of money if we wanted to uh, either invest into more marigolds or we can open up some of these. So, oh, there's a lot of choices. I do also wanna get the extra seed slot. I think that's something we'll get right now. So we'll get the extra seed slot for 20,000 right there. So there we go. Now we can have nine seed slots with you per level. Very, very cool. But then we'll put more money back into the Zen Garden. Cause the more money we put into the Zen Garden, the more money we can make. So if we could get the golden watering can, let's you water several plants at once, this will be a lot more efficient. And then I think we'll just buy a few more marigolds. There we go, and then we'll also buy a lot of fertilizer, because we'll need it eventually. There we go, so we're sold out on fertilizer for now. I have $3,000 left over, so I, I'm just gonna keep saving it for the time being. Um, but you can see, with that, we have marigolds all over the place. So I'll have to go and organize these guys a little bit too, but I don't wanna spend too much time on it in today's episode. We'll spend the rest of it, you know, in upcoming episodes for sure. But, you know, just tending towards end garden can be a lot of fun. It's a lot of work to make sure it stays efficient, but it's something we can handle for sure. So I'll do something like this, and now with the golden watering can, we can go like this, and it waters four of them instead. We definitely wanna get Stinky working here. Stinky the snail can help us with uh, actually picking up the coins. So we're already starting to make some money back from these guys, which is always good. But now we need to afford those new environments so that we can actually um, grow more of these plants, like the, uh, the scaredy shroom and the tangle kelp both need a different environment to fully grow. Right now, they're not really worth too much. I mean, if I tried to sell them, I'd still be able to get 3,000 out of it, but I want much more, so. And also, oh no, I used fertilizer in the wrong one. Gotta really pay attention there. So yeah, this is just something, I'll grow up all these marigolds and then we'll get into the mini games. So for our mini games today, as you can see down this way, we have ourselves Zambotany 2. So we started with Zambotany at the very beginning of the mini games. Now we have the sequel, which should be probably much more difficult. We'll see for ourselves. We do have a lot of mini games to get through in today's episode, seven of them instead of our normal five. And oh no, it's looking like a mess out there. Not only do we have pea shooter and walnut zombies, but we have jalapeno, squash, gatling pea, and a tauna. We don't even have the gatling pea yet. So this is gonna be a little crazy. Um, we'll start with the sunflower. We actually have that extra seed slot now, so we could do something like this. So many options here for sure, but I probably want a cherry bomb. And I'm feeling like Torchwood would be a good idea. Torchwood, taking a look at all these, I don't know how a squash zombie even works, but uh, I think Spikeweed would probably be a good idea because of that. And is this, this is a pool level too, so we'll need uh, lily pads and maybe, how does that work? Do the zombies swim with floaties still? I guess we could try this. 
Might not be the easiest level, but I think we can make this work for sure. Let's rock. So yeah, the mini games have already started to get, get getting really, really challenging. I don't even know if we really needed Twin Sunflower for this. It's not really the most expensive setup in hindsight, but we have it. It's a fun plan to have. I mean, I guess with it, we could start replacing some of the sunflowers sooner. There's a lot we can do here, but of course, our first goal is just going to be getting some flowers and potato mines out as soon as possible to guard against whatever zombies end up popping up, which already we have one. So they're gonna start attacking our one sad little sunflower. So I probably don't wanna put any more sunflowers on that lane until of course we get um, that zombie taken care of. And this is where maybe a walnut would have been a good idea in hindsight as well. So maybe if this one doesn't work out, instead of a twin sunflower, we'll just do um, walnuts just to protect against things like this. Because if not, it just gets to be a little too much, doesn't it? Okay, there we go. The sunflower survived too, so that's always nice. Okay, but here comes another one. And we will just set up another potato mine as soon as we can. I think on that same lane. Get that there, potato mine right here should be okay. More zombies are bound to be popping up soon, so we have to be ready for it. Could have gotten a twin sunflower already, but I don't really need that too much. Waiting just to see whatever whatever other zombies might show up soon. But uh, got a sunflower there. Got it, got it, and we have one. No, wait, that was, ah, oh, come on. That's the worst mistake I could have made. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, we'll keep going. I don't want to reset the level just because of that. Um. Man, that really bums me out. Come on, come on, what do I wanna do here? Probably just put out more sunflowers and stuff. We got the repeater. Should be able to fire back twice as hard. So that's always nice. And it should get rid of that zombie a little bit faster. There we go, there we go. It looks like we have some other zombies popping up in some other spots, so potato mine there. And we'll work on getting another repeater out on the bottom lane this time. Yeah, this might get a little bit complicated without walnuts, the more I'm thinking about this. Can't believe I let that slip. Um, here we go. Got it. And this might be where it's worth it just to expand into the water. There goes that zombie. And lucky for us, sort of, kind of, yeah, we'll be able to just keep these repeaters where they are. It will still, of course, get beat up because of that quite a lot. And another potato mine, I guess about there, might be our best bet. More of these poor sunflowers are getting really torn up though, so I'm a bit worried about that part. Okay, we just need two more pieces of sun and then we can get a repeater to deal with that pea shooter zombie up top. There we go. So we're getting somewhere with it. So a lot more work is needed. Okay. Next zombie's popping up in the water. I'm just gonna deal with them there. And then get a torch wood out in front of this next repeater as soon as possible. Right about there, awesome. It's picking up a bit more, but we just need to make sure we have a ton of excess sun, because if not, it's gonna be complicated. See, this is where it gets hard, because I need to get both a lily pad and a repeater out here. So grab that, put this here, that should be enough for now. But I don't have a repeater. I did have a repeater on the bottom lane. I guess I get knocked down. How did it get knocked out before the torch would? Wait, I'm so confused. I didn't see what happened over there. Weird. I'm, I'm super, super confused by that. Um, I think the spike would be enough to deal with them. I'm really not feeling this one as much anymore. I think we just really need walnuts. You know what? Before we get too far into this one, let's re just restart it and try with walnuts. No twin sunflower needed. So things are already going a lot better here because I can just pull walnuts out occasionally and that will deal with them. Um, so for this guy, I probably don't want to go anything too crazy than just that. Getting the spike weed out to deal, deal with this brown coat. Whatever we can do that's more affordable as we get our sunflower sort of infrastructure set up is probably for the best. So I'll do that for now. The next plant that shows up, I think we'll just put a uh, or I guess in a zombie plant, whatever you want to call it. A little bit of both, right? The zombies do eat quite quickly with this one though. Wow, okay. Gotta keep that in mind. I think we'll just set up the potato mine here and then focus on a repeater on this lane. There we go. And we can always sort of remove some of these sunflowers to get more repeaters out sooner if we need to later. But that should be enough to deal with everything for now. Um, we'll get another lily pot out this way. And this is definitely where things are about to start popping up a little bit more. Don't tell me you're gonna eat through that. I was gonna say, I would not be happy if that zombie was able to eat through that potato mine before it could pop up. But luckily, it didn't happen that way. We have another walnut set up here. Gotta protect those repeaters wherever we can. And I think now we start getting the sunflower set up on the lily pads. Speaking of lily pads, let's get another one out. And uh, 
Maybe get a couple of uh, potato mines out here and there, wherever we can put them, really. Then I might just want to get our first torchwood right here to keep that repeater protected. And then I definitely need another one to deal with that one walnut that's getting in the way out right now. Not so good. Come on, just a little bit more sun. We can get that next repeater out. So we almost have one repeater per ground lane. That'll be good. But there's just a lot to do with here. For sure. Ooh, so it looks like we already have two zombies jumping out into the water at the same time. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but we can still afford to deal with it with one more sun getting that there. Awesome. Definitely sort of a pain, but we'll get another one out right here. So we have a one on every ground lane. I just need one more repeater on the second at the bottom there, which we can do right now. Perfect. This is definitely going better than the first try. So I can say that at the least. Sunflower there, potato mine maybe here. And now we're just focusing in on, uh, I guess torchwoods and stuff. Torchwoods, maybe a few more walnuts. I got a tangle kelp, not that, this right there. And then we'll get the repeater out this way. Oh, the squash is showing up though. You know what, let's go ahead and cherry bomb that. I'm a little bit worried about that walnut zombie too. That might take a lot more damage. But there's ways we can deal with that, right? I think for right now. Whoa, the Gowling Pea, that's coming in. Oh man, I was not prepared for that. Um, luckily the Wana is there and protecting it, but I wanna get a Torchwood here, another one of these, and a Wana there. Perfect, okay. This is getting pretty crazy, but I think we can keep up with it. We just keep trying. So get that there. I can use the Tangle Kelp against you. It might be worth it. The Jalapeno though is coming up. I don't know what to do about that. Uh. I really don't know what to do about that. What if I just did this? Because is, is, is it gonna explode the lane? Or maybe it will only explode the lane if it reaches a plant. That would be a disaster. So I gotta be really careful about that. Okay, this guy's a little bit scary. This is where we need a torchwood on every lane now. So getting the torchwood there seems like a good idea. A lot to keep up with at the moment, to say the least. There we go. One on every, one on every single lane. We can get a little bit more sun. We can at least get a torchwood on the top there. There it is. Deal with this guy a little bit more because of that. Uh oh, here comes another squash on me. Jeez. Just a never ending flow of some bondy madness here. Oh, okay. The squash on me actually knocked out without too much of an issue. Our last torchwood, or actually, second to the last torchwood. Right there. A ton of zombies coming in. You better believe I'll use a uh, tangle kelp for that one. Okay, we have enough for our last actual torchwood right there. Yeah, getting that guy knocked out seems like it was a really good idea. I'm trying to be prepared, because I probably just want to replace this right now, actually. So now we just want to do second row of repeaters. I guess we'll start in the water. And if I need to, I can put some extra ones out farther in the water, but I don't know if that's really the best idea. But I guess we should get a couple more spike weeds out here and there. I don't know if it matters too much. But I guess one for this zombie would be good, because I don't know how these zombies work. Is it just that they're maybe strong against projectiles, but still weak to the ground? Because they're still normal zombie feet. It's just a ton of head. So I don't know really how that works. I mean, it seems pretty strong so far. So we'll put another spike weed out. Here comes a Gatling P. I'm a bit worried about that, because it's really gonna beat up on my walnut. I think we can handle it. Yeah, it's knocked down now, so we're doing good. We just need two more repeaters. Which I think we can manage. So I'll put it over this. I guess I should have put it on the other lane first, but it should be fine. Okay, huge wave of zombies coming in. It's our second of three flags, so I think we'll be okay in that regard. We'll see what's coming in here. Got it, okay, so we have our cherry bomb ready if we want to throw it out somewhere. I'm thinking with the two tall nuts here, maybe I just uh, do something about that. Yeah, let's just do this here. Boom, it gets two out of the three tall nuts. That's already pretty good. And we have double repeater everywhere, so I think more spike weeds is in order now. That one tall nut's pretty scary though. Uh, you know what, I think I will still deal with the jalapeno though because I really don't want that to scorch our entire lane. 
that would still be the biggest disaster I can imagine here, as we still have one more giant flag to deal with. Okay. Hmm. Another spike meat there. Now we're just trying to make it so that they have like a giant wall of spike weeds to walk by. Because with each sunflower that we get rid of, the harder it gets to actually get through this. Okay. Let's do that then. It's weird that those two spike weeds down here are sort of off center. Huh, I never noticed that. It's not like that for any of the other ones. Weird. Okay, plenty more sun to get. And I guess we could use the opportunity to replace this with a repeater. And if I were to put a spike wood here with the squash zombie squish it? I don't think so, yeah. Okay, cool. We got this here. We're doing pretty well overall. I might just wanna keep, you know, putting out spike weeds and then we'll worry about more repeaters. So we haven't got, we've got a lot of sunflowers beyond that. Oh no, not that. This here. So just one more spike which should do the trick. So we have enough. We can start putting a repeater out somewhere else. And then spike weed right here. See, there we go. Full roster of spike weed. Now we don't have any space for a cherry bomb if we need that, but I think we'll be okay. We'll have to wait and see. Look in general, that's a good problem to have. See, a pretty intense mini game to start things off for today, and we still have six more after, so it's probably gonna be a pretty long episode of us figuring all this out, but that's okay. 20 more shots coming in, and a huge wave of zombies. So we just need two more repeaters out here before I feel satisfied. Oh, we lost this on flower there, I didn't even realize. There we go. I mean, I could also just do a cherry bomb since this is our final wave. We wanna do something like that instead. But even that, I can't really afford it at the moment. I mean, we're destroying things quite quickly. So either way, I don't think it really matters too much. Okay, yeah, so I can just do this if we wanna finish this quickly. Boom, get rid of the zombie, powie, and get ourselves another diamond, and then with it, another trophy. So our first mini game of today completed with plenty more left. That was still a good start. So we unlocked a new mini game. How many more mini games are there even left to unlock? Two more, so I guess soon enough it'll stop saying that. So next up is a fun sequel as well. We have One Up Bowling 2. All right, let's go in for this one then. So if you thought we could get a lot of coins from the original One Up Bowling with even more zombies this time, I would think we can get even more money. Let's see. Well, it really just depends on how many zombies there are to sort of chain things up with. All right, now it's not much. We can just sort of wait for the zombies to slowly crawl out here and then start bouncing them. Is this a big one? Oh yeah, this is a big one. I forgot about this. That is so cool. <laughs> the big old walnut. All right, we'll save that for later. Right now, I just sort of want to uh, wait to see what other zombies pop up. Okay, we got a bucket head coming in. So if we bounce like this, I might be able to hit it. Ah, not quite, not quite. So yeah, it's actually sort of hard to tell which ones are the normal ones and which ones are the big ones. I totally forgot about that. It's so cool. All right, well, we just had the bucket head for now. Maybe I should just speed this up a little bit. Boom, get rid of you. Sort of slow going at the moment, but soon enough, plenty of zombies will start rolling in. We'll make money from it. But uh, let's try one of the big ones. Look at this guy. Whoa, watch it! And squish! It just goes right through the whole lane. So you don't really have to worry about zombies being lined up or anything like that, which in some ways can be even better than an explosive nut. There we go, get a coin out of that one. That's good to see. So maybe I'll just wait a moment. We'll just give it a second for these zombies to come out so that we can actually have options for bouncing it because when we do, this becomes one of the more lucrative mini games in terms of just making coins and stuff. Uh, but we just have to wait for it to actually start to happen. And honestly, this is still one of my favorite mini games, so I don't mind there being a sequel to it. I think only Zambandi and this one have sequels. The others are all just, you know, one by one unique mini games. Okay, let's try here. That's not enough. Okay, uh, now I'm out of normal walnut, so I might just have to let go of this dream of making a lot of money from this mini game because it doesn't seem to be working for me. Uh, I'll give it one more chance here. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I was just gonna wait for something, but 
get rid of that, and then I'll just use a normal one against you. So we'll just wait for the huge wave of zombies to come in. It should be good enough, because right now it's just so slow going. It gets a little disinteresting. So we'll get rid of you, and ooh, here we go, here we go. Boom, get one coin out of that. It's something. Wait for another normal walnut to come out like this, and then boom, boom, got another coin. I think I will hit those guys, and then we can just get a big guy again, roll over all that if we wanted to. Or we could wait a moment, because more of them are popping up. The screen door zombies are here, now that's interesting. Usually it's just, you know, basic zombies. But this time we're getting some different varieties, which is fun. Ooh, and there's still only a one hit takedown, which is a bit weird. Maybe because I hit it from the side? Huh, interesting. I'll do this, and ooh, we don't quite hit it there. So, hit these guys and knock this out. The first huge wave is coming in soon. Oh, they jumped over that. So, if I can get another actual like bouncing walnut. Here we go, boom. It might hit you. It does, awesome. And this should bounce off of one and then into the bucket head pretty nicely. Huge wave of zombies coming in, so let's wait a moment. Here they come. All right, this is our only normal normal walnut right now, so I really want to make the most of this. Now, there's one bounce, two bounce, three bounce, cool. And we're getting more normal walnuts now, so that's pretty nice. We do get some nice bounces off of that. Ooh, feeling pretty good. Yeah, the screen door definitely takes a lot more of a beating when it's up front than it is to the side. I'm gonna wait just a second to see if we get anything more. Come on, three, two, one, here we go. Oh, this could be a good one. Ah, not as good as I was hoping. We can go for another though. Much better. All right, we got the golden coin that time too, so I think this is getting a bit too crowded. We can explode those guys and wait right about now. It should bounce off of you. There it is, excellent. Lots more money coming in, and then I can just roll over all these guys. Cool, cool. So if we're not really worried about money, we can throw out some of these more explosive ones sooner rather than later, but I would like to you know, keep going for a bit more. I mean, obviously we're mostly relying on the Zen Garden to make cash at this point. But it's not so bad to do other things. Oh, look at this, we got the Disco Zombie coming out. You know what? I might wanna get rid of them sooner rather than later. <laughs> they can be a little scary. And I'll try to bounce more stuff off of you. There we go. Can I get one more? I can. Nice. Oh, here comes another disco zombie. I'll save the explosions real quick. We'll see if, if, if you producing more stuff would make more potential bounces. It should, in theory. Okay, here we go. And they actually play the disco sound. I don't think they did in the main game. It was very weird that they didn't. But uh, here, here they go, you know? They're dancing, they're making fun disco noises. I at least didn't hear it whenever we were playing against them. There we go. Got some extra coins right there. And I think I might just have to roll through this entire lane. And oh, we got some chocolate. We did the Stinky to speed him up for a while. That's always good. Be a nice little upgrade for Stinky there. Keep getting some stuff here, just some extra coins. I'll go for another. At this point, it's sort of slow going into our next huge wave. So I might just wanna put a couple of these out, like that. We're about halfway through this level right now. You can see this is definitely one of the, the slower ones so far. Ah, sort of missed this. If I really wanted to, seeing that there's not really too much behind it. Boom, boom. Should have the huge wave coming up soon, right? Maybe, maybe not. I do really like the super tall walnuts, so though. They just make me happy. The super big, not just tall. Got another coin bounce there. We have the newspaper zombie coming up. Wasn't quite able to bounce it there. Come on, come on. Give me one more normal walnut. I, I don't think it's worth waiting. Let's just, boom, get it. And boom, got it. Okay, so this is a normal size walnut. We should be able to handle just making it bounce. Maybe the same thing here. There you go because those guys can help sort of lead into more bounces like that. Even getting an extra coin or two could be a big difference maker. Uh, here we go. <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's sort of a, a heartbreaking situation. 
we'll do that. I think I'll just go for this. At least a little bit better. That's a lot of zombies coming up. Oh man, I can't believe that one didn't hit. This should be the last cluster of zombies before this big wave. Honestly, this is going way slower than I anticipated. Got it. And I think we'll explode a good cluster over here. Here it is, huge wave approaching. I think I'm ready for it. It bounced upwards, so that's good. Oh, but it didn't quite register that hit. Oh, with the disco zombie coming in, this has gotta be something good, right? Ready, boom. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, so much. So after we get one gold coin, I think it only gives you a gold coin every time after. But still, that's really nice. That was our biggest bounce yet. Worth the wait, worth the wait. <laughs> then we'll get rid, rid of the rest of this wave. So at this point, we can be pretty direct with finishing up the level, I think. Gotta wait for a lot more zombies, but if I trick you in the jumping, then it might be easier to get a few more. Got it. We'll do an explosion up here, and another explosion down there as soon as we can. Here comes another disco zombie though. I think I'll try for here right now. Got it. They come. Maybe just up like that. Could've been better, could've been worse. Okay, decent money. And if we're really scared, we still have the um, explosion. Walnuts, we have two of them, so we can explode the whole sort of map. Will I get anything more though? I really wanna make extra sure it's what we wanna do before we do it. There goes some more of them. Like this, yeah, bounces upwards. That's where we'll really make a lot of money. Two more gold coins. That was a great one for sure. So, you know what? Boom, getting rid of those guys. I think I'll do the same thing right there. <laughs> okay. Feels like the zombie meter's not moving at all though. See will this bounce upwards? It will, so it'll get rid of that screen door zombie real easy. And here comes another explosion one. Could get rid of one of the, the really tall ones. There you go. Got this right here. A few more bounces. Closing in on 7,000 coins again. Which we had a bunch more money earlier, but haven't really gotten any Zen Garden plants too much so far in today's episode. Hopefully soon. I know we got a lot last time, so not exactly expecting it. Boom, got them. Okay, this is the normal one. At this rate, we can do the final wave. It'd be cool if the final wave we just do five big walnuts just down each lane. Maybe that'd be a fun way to finish it off. So we'll try to save up what we can with that. Ooh, that was good. Let's explode this there. And then maybe the same deal here. We have to wait. No, okay, didn't quite reach. I might have to explode you with this. There we go. Here comes that disco zombie. We're able to knock him out before he could produce the tunes he needed to make his backup dancers. I think we'll do just that. Because we have four walnuts now. Or four big walnuts. So it might be a good opportunity, boom, to get that there. But this is definitely an easy mini game to sort of zone out on, in a way. That and Whack a Zombie. And I, w I wish that, you know, PvZ2 and stuff would have this many mini games. It has a couple mini games, but not many compared to PvZ1, which is crazy to think about just because of how much more time PvZ2 has been actively developed. But I know that's sort of, you know, a different game in that way, so hard to really expect that too much. Okay, ready? Boom, get rid of all those guys. Here comes some more pole vaulters. I think we're pretty fine, yet yeah, just with doing this. We'll go through this bounce again. Ooh, okay, good money. Almost at the 7,500 coins. Got rid of a good chunk of them there. I still only have four of the big walnuts. I was hoping for five, of course. We'll see how it works out though. Might still be able to get one. But maybe the maximum is four or something. Oh, how did that one not count? I thought that was a little bit silly. Got it. So, 
I think unless I get another good normal walnut here in just a moment. Here it is, here it is. I'm able to get a couple more coins out of that, but I think we need to just explode some of these guys soon. We'll do this. Ready, boom, and boom. A little bit scary though. I don't know if that was the best idea, but here we go, here we go, here we go. So if we're, we've got the huge wave approaching, I'll let all of them come out, and then we'll put all, out all these really big walnuts. Oh, that's the last one, right? No, no, that's a normal size, darn. We'll get a couple more bounces though for sure. Just like this, and then ready, we're gonna go. One, two, three, four. That was still really cool, even if it wasn't all of them. Very, very satisfying. Okay, we'll go through like that and then hope I actually yeah, have enough to defeat you. I do. Okay, there we go, Wanna Bowling 2 completed. Took a lot longer than I thought it would, but it was still very enjoyable. And we, don't have, we have almost 9,000 coins here, so that's good. All right, there's our trophy. Unlocked a new mini game with it. This one is going to be, of course, right over here, the, uh, the Pogo Party. I'm a little nervous about this one, but we'll give it our best shot. This was definitely one of the most difficult ones in PvZ1, and it's just because it's just an onslaught of pogo zombies. So how do we want to handle this? With normal brown coats in there too, we definitely want sunflower and plant pot. Beyond that, I think we probably want um, cherry bomb, potato mine. Probably just magnet shroom combo would be a good idea. Maybe a doom shroom if things get really scary. Yeah, this seems fine. And then maybe Twin Sunflower? I mean, we don't have to worry about like bungee zombies, I don't think. Unless it lies to you and there are gonna be bungee zombies coming in. Because the pogo zombies are scary because they just jump over everybody and everything. They just don't really care. So this could be a good setup. I could, you know, I have the backup Doom Shroom. Let's also do the Ice Shroom, just to really guard us from any potential hazards. It'll be tough to afford everything at first, is the problem. We'll make it work, we'll make it work. Let's just go with this. If it doesn't work out, I mean, I guess instead of this, I could do Cabbage Pullet. I don't know, I get a little bit worried. We'll just do Cabbage Pullet at first, especially with only three lanes here. It does get a little scary like that, so let's just do what we can. Haven't played a roof level in a while though, so it is fun to have this instead, you know? Uh, okay, so we're just gonna be focusing on earning up sun wherever we can. It is nice to be on the roof like this where we should be generating more sun. Definitely feels like it. We'll just do two normal rows of sunflowers for now, and then we will might we might add more on later. It really just depends. Okay. So here's another sunflower coming in, and I think it'll start with normal brown coat zombies, and then add more complexity later on with the pogos. But the sooner we can just sort of get some reinforcements out here, the better. Okay. Got another. I might want to add some plant pots sooner rather than later as well, but they do restore pretty quickly. I could like put one out there like that. We'll have to wait and see, but we have enough that if a normal zombie does pop up soon, it's gonna start with a pogo zombie though. Wow, it really, really does not want to make this easy. I feel like that is pretty intense, honestly. Because we'll be a while up before we're starting to get magnet trims and stuff. Let's see if this potato mine pops up in time. Uh, It won't, so you know what, cherry bomb for you. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. 150 sun right off the bat like that is pretty crazy. Can I get a cabbage bolt out for you? Am I like making a huge mistake? Should I set this up differently? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, for right now though, this is fine enough. Oh, uh, do we just let it go? I think we let it go. Just so that I can start building up some other reinforcements because I need to. If we can get a magnet shroom out. You know, even if it's just like, I don't have enough sun at first, but come on, come on, come on. Like this. Uh, we got it, but you know, what do we do now? <laughs> oh my goodness, he eats quick too. These zombies do not let up, it's wild. Okay, come on. If we can at least beat you up like this, that's great, but there's another one coming in. I feel like we just need to prioritize getting a bandit stream out as soon as possible. Come on, please don't let him get through this. This is all I can do for the time being. 
man, and he's still trying. And he might get it too. And I don't even have anything for that magnet tree. Okay, we're gonna reset this one. I think I just need to focus on getting a magnet tree mount as soon as physically possible. I think that's my best bet. So one thing I totally forgot is that the pogo zombies will be stopped by taunts, right? I guess we'll find out here in just a moment. Um, Come on, yeah, they will be, and it also knocks your pogo off. So at this point, I just need this here and that there, and that should be a way to defend against this. And the only problem is, obviously, that taunts take a long time to restore. So we need to earn up enough sun um, in that meantime to uh, start putting out some magnet shrimps and stuff. So we need 175 sun, and then the plant pops at 200 sun in total to make that happen. Okay, well, luckily for us, we got some really lucky circumstances here, and it's actually going to be another Pogo Zombie on the same lane. That is definitely just really lucky situation because how could we have known that was gonna happen, you know? It didn't happen like that last time. So if we could just save up a little bit more because I'm sure another Pogo Zombie's about to start popping up. Um, here it comes, here it comes. It's just gonna be in the next lane downwards. So we do something like that, and then I get a tall nut right there. Very nice, very nice. But of course, it's still gonna eat away at this taunt pretty fast, so if we could get a cabbage pulled out and more sunflowers wherever we can, three euros of sunflowers is pretty darn effective, so I think overall this will turn out quite well. Um, got it. And I think, if we do this, there we go. That will defend us a little bit, but I am still a little bit worried. We could still be in a bit of an issue here. It really depends on how fast this cabbage pole can get rid. Ooh, come on, come on. See, I'm a little bit worried about this. I might just do evasive maneuvers and do a cherry bomb. Yeah, I thought that's maybe my best bet. Yeah, we can get rid of you too. So, this goes here. We need this there. Now we have enough time to sort of survive a little bit more. It gets tough, it gets really complicated. Uh, I do wanna get a taunt here if possible though. Got it. And, oh man. A lot we're keeping up with, but I wanna get this here. And okay, can get rid of that pretty quick. The only problem though is that Will that zombie be strong enough to reach the magnet shroom before the cabbage bolts defeat it? Maybe the kernel bolts would have been a good idea too, but where would I put them over? Because we need a lot of the stuff that we have here. I mean, I might not have, oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Uh, well, that's not what I wanted. I guess we're putting it here now, because I do not, do not have the time to risk it. But uh, I might not actually be able to get the kind of sun I would need to get melon bolts at this rate. It's not really looking like it, so. I mean, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm not expecting it. Okay, another cabbage bolt right there. Maybe it's for the better, that way we can actually protect the magnet shrooms instead of the other way around, you know? So this might be a better idea for the time being. The magnet shrooms have great reach. That's another good situation. Let's get rid of some of this. This Pogo Zombie's gotta get going. Come on, come on. So here comes this guy, which once again, uh, should be handleable. We're not even at the first flag yet though. You can see how this, this level is gonna take a while, for sure. But I think we'll just set up another magnet shroom. Keep everything going. So, huge wave of zombies approaching. This is luckily where, you know, a cherry bomb's very useful if it does feel like too much zombies. I think for right now, though, what do we want to do? They'll all be sort of stopped up. We'll do cherry bomb right here. Boom, see you guys. Nice. So obviously, besides getting rid of more of the pogo zombies pogos with magnet shrooms, we do have enough sun now that I can work my way backwards and start putting some melon bolts out. And that feels like a good idea. Lots of damage from the, those guys, of course, so it can be a pretty nice idea. So unless I want to do a little switcheroo here with the with the uh, tall nuts over time, that would cost a lot of sun and time, for sure. So I think we'll focus on this for now. 
Got it, got it. Here comes some more. Make sure that none of these zombies keep their pogos. They're all ours. Awesome. So now we're running a little bit lower on the sun. But as we get a few more, I'll do something like this. Got another melon pole coming in. Awesome. So now we're packing some serious firepower. As long as we can keep continually getting sun, I think we'll be all right. I don't think we need any more magnet shrooms at the moment. So if we can just focus on getting the last two melon pots we need, that's gonna be 600 sun in total, so it's quite difficult, but we get one right here, just like this. Now it's feeling a lot better. So we just need 200 more sun before we have a full lane of melon pots as well. Then we can focus on that last magnet room if we want it to, but even that I'm not too worried about at this rate. It feels fine. Okay, so right over the sunflower, boom, melon, halt. Cool. So now each lane has a melon being hurled down it. Definitely makes a difference. Oh, and look at this, we get a Zen Garden plant. That's what I've been looking for. We'll have to see what it is later. And wake up this magnet shroom, so each lane also is gonna be removing magnets from the field. Okay. So I think we have yeah, our next flag of zombies, a huge wave coming in. If I need to, I can also cherry bomb some stuff. We'll have to see how many zombies are coming in from where, but this is where the melons really start to splash together and do a lot of damage. Definitely feels like it, so. Ooh. Let those magnet shrooms kick back in in a moment, but I think I could also just cherry bomb it. Maybe that wasn't necessary. Hard to say. Okay. So I think with that done, we can just continually try to save up some sun until we have a bunch of it, and then maybe just add some more uh, cabbage pots here and there. This one is a little bit slower going than I thought. I mean, once we get a good setup, it's not that bad, for sure. It's just a never ending onslaught of pogo zombies. At least they seem like they're having fun until we take the pogos away. We confiscate them. All right, well, here comes some more. We don't quite have the cherry bomb reloaded. So I do wanna be careful, but we'll get one more melon pulled out here, like that. I just wanna make sure I always have enough for the cherry bomb, no matter what the situation. Luckily, I can do that for sure. So we can get another one right there. Grab two more coins. Because the cherry bomb will be 175, not just 150. So we gotta worry about the plant pot too. But they're eating my magnet shrooms, I didn't even, even realize. And my tall nut down here. Well, when did that happen? That's not good. Let's definitely get that fixed. And then boom, boom. But yeah, that guy just, did he just walk down a lane? What was that about? Maybe it was just because the pogo got taken in the middle of the jump. I don't know, I haven't really seen it like that. This is the final wave regardless, so we'll put a cherry bomb wherever it needs to be. Oh no, oh no, um, see, they did fool me. I guess it really is just a bunch of brown coats though, so before I worry about that, let's just get a bunch of sun. It really is just a bunch of brown coats. <laughs> it isn't too big of a deal. I thought it was gonna be way worse than that, but we'll get rid of them either way. Boom, just like that, and Powie, we get ourselves another win for $1,000 there, and of course, 50 for each roof cleaner. We got it done. So, there's our trophy. Keep on collecting those trophies, I'll try my best. So yeah, it doesn't even tell us we unlocked the minigame anymore because that was our last one, but there are still four more mini games left to do, uh, and this is going to be the last one technically that we would see in the PC version, Dr. Zomboss's Revenge. The other three are like totally new to me. I've never played them before. So let's try Dr. Zomboss's Revenge for now and we'll try the other three mini games in a bit. Okay, so obviously with this one, it's a rematch against Dr. Zomboss as we saw him before. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's any more difficult or not, but at least it's, you know, fun. Okay, we're starting with some cabbage. I'll wait to see where they play out the zombies because that'll be pretty important, so a zombie right there. We have the jalapenos. We know how to solve this one. We actually got 
the Dr. Zomboss fight done in like really fast time the last time we did it. And I wanna really try to make that happen again this time. We get two ice streams right next to each other. Usually they're not so close like that, weird. Okay, so we'll get more plant pots out soon too. But I think it's gotta focus more on cabbage pots. If any of these zombies get a little too close, we can of course throw out one of the jalapenos or the ice shrooms or whatever. But so far this is a bit interesting. I feel like they are throwing out zombies a lot faster than normal. Okay, getting our first melon pot right here. Don't mind if I do. I might put it here and then I could freeze some zombies. If it gets any scarier, I might wanna do that. So let's go ahead and boom. Cause this one zombie in the very bottom is just getting a little too close for me. Okay, here we go, here we go. So this is where we wanna freeze. And then while that's happening, we'll just you know be able to hit Dr. Zomboss with as much as we can before it unfreezes him and then hit him with one of these. I probably should have kept one of them though, just in case he throws a giant ice ball, like he's, or he's a giant fireball, and I don't have an ice room for that. So that might spell disaster for me. Um, yeah, not much I can do about that with no ice room. Luckily it's on the very top lane, um, and nothing else is really gonna be lost because of that. But man, that really sinks. Okay. Didn't do good planning on that part. It's okay, we'll get through it. And now we get the ice cream, huh? Well, maybe. Oh, I can save some. Awesome, it really wasn't that bad at the end of the day. But the problem now is we need another one. <laughs> we need another one just in case he plops back down here. But this is already proving to be a lot more difficult than the original fight. Getting a lot more jalapenos though, which I'm not gonna complain about that for sure. Whew. Get another cabbage pole. I just need another ice room just in case things turn south here. Okay, come on, come on. I'll put this melon pot way back there. So now we have a melon pot on every lane. I think. Actually, no, we don't have one, have one on the center lane. So keep that one ice room. Oh, and we get a diamond. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. This is feeling pretty good. We're just waiting for Zomboss to sort of poke back down here. Okay. I think he's about to. Nope, not yet, not yet. <laughs> yeah, this is a much slower fight than the original. Crazy. And by original, I mean like the one we ran into story mode for PVZDS. And we probably, oh, we get some more chocolate for Stinky. We want to save a plant pot, I think wherever we can, just in case he does dip down, we actually have the space to put stuff somewhere. He really is taking his time here. He's not dipped down at all. Maybe I need to put down a plant like these? With that, okay, maybe I didn't need to. As you can see, now he's popping down. So this is where we can freeze him for a moment. See, I don't know if that actually freezes him. Typically, it's supposed to. And then we'll just hit him with that right there. Hit him with another. Freeze him again. There we go, now it's working. So as soon as he gets unfrozen, we just refreeze him again, and he could be stuck down here for a long, long time. Oh, wait, wait, there we go. And this is slowly doing more and more damage to you, huh? Now, I don't wanna do this until he's definitely like unfrozen, but I could burn him and then freeze him again. Ah, oh, no, he got away in time. All right, that's fine, that's fine. He might throw the, uh, the van down now. Oh, even worse, even worse. Freeze him, freeze him, freeze him. Got it, okay. That should help protect us. Hopefully we can get rid of them because some of them are over some melon pots and I really don't want to lose those. I don't know if they'll be able to do enough damage in time and unfortunately they're not, but we can just start replacing them. Not too big of a deal. But we're still not even halfway through it this time. We still have so much more to go. I don't want to place too many plant pots down at once because it could be very well be that I'll need them, more of them later. And the zombies will probably just start eating through them. Yeah, like this. I mean, a lot of jalapenos and you know, the ice rooms here. Okay, so save that for now. I don't really need to do that. We'll freeze some of these zombies because we need the space anyways for more plants. We're just getting plant pots and... <laughs> okay, here we go. This is why. Oh my goodness. That definitely makes it a little bit more difficult. Come on, what can we do here? I might just have to have the jalapeno this one because this is too much. Two bucket heads, more than I can handle right now. We'll get that there. 
Do I freeze some more? I might have to in a moment. This is feeling not so good. I think I might have to jalapeno that top lane now because once again, two bucket heads is just too much. At least for just two cabbage plots for sure. Wait, this is feeling a little weird. I just feel like the layout of plants that we're getting just isn't super helpful. But we just gotta do with what we have. I think it's coming back down here in a moment or something. He's shaking all over the place. Oh no, not again. Okay, two of them are right here. So I'm just gonna boom, light some of them up. They seal a cabbage pole, not the end of the world. Okay, put this here. Looks like we might not even need it, but I will do that. That won't damage Dr. Zomboss from that angle though. So if we hit you from here, now we can start freezing you. Oh, come on, come on. Do a lot more damage there and then freeze him again. Go for one more. And then maybe jalapeno again, ready? Okay, we got it right before we run off and then we freeze them again. Awesome, awesome. And what are you gonna do now, huh, buddy? A torch you with that, that'll make you run away soon, I think. Or maybe not, can we freeze you again? Oh, here we go, here we go. Everybody just threw everything you got at him. He's more than halfway down now. This is great. But now he's gonna leave. But not without us doing a ton of damage to him. Not gonna be happy about that. Here comes another minivan. It's not even, it's an RV. Uh, we'll start replacing those as soon as we can, but luckily it wasn't too bad. Buckethead's a little bit scary. Oh no, look at this guy. I might just wanna jalapeno them. Okay, you know what, you know what? Boom, gonna do this so that we can, oh, it doesn't even freeze you. Cause you're already chilly, I guess. That makes sense, but it stinks. Okay, what do I wanna do here? I do have enough that I can, boom, free some more of you guys. I really, really need that. Newspaper zombie, a little bit more uncommon. This Garcantuar is not fun to deal with. Come on, okay, they got rid of the imp really quick. And this Garcantuar has gotta be beaten up soon. I can free some more of them. There it is. It's just so much. Oh, what are they doing now? They were stumbling for a moment, Dr. Zomboss there, but the Gargantuar is the one to fall. Okay, let's just put this here so that maybe we can, here we go, here we go, ready? Boom, got you good there. We're gonna freeze you for a bit, hit you with everything we can, throw more stuff out here if we can manage it. We only have one ice cream and one jalapeno, so we don't wanna go too crazy with stuff, but here we go. The second that you make this, we're gonna torch it and then freeze you. Come on, come on, this could be it, depending on what we get here, boom. Another jalapeno. They might end up pleasing. Freeze them, freeze them. But no, oh, I was a little too late. Darn, that stinks, but it's okay. One more oh, wave like that and we should be able to do it, but a bunch of plants getting crushed in the meantime. Gotta save this one. Here they come. More zombies making their way in. A cone head isn't too bad, but a gargantuar, now oh, that's scary. Get the cabbage pole right there. Oh. On a pogo zombie, haven't we had enough of those today? And they don't even get frozen? What makes the power of pogo so unfreezable? Okay, can't wait, you know, really let that do its thing. Okay, this is ridiculous, actually. Get okay, ready and freeze again. Oh, we got a football zombie now, too. They're really throwing us the whole, whole situation. We might be in trouble here in a bit. We still have a few more plants we can throw out. Oh, uh, he's stomping the plants. That's what he's doing when he does that. Here, do that. I got a hollow penny with again for that guy. But at least a gargantuar is out for the count. That's good. Okay, here you are. Uh, so let's not use any of those until I really need them. Oh, come on, come on. We're damaging you as much as we can. And I might just want to freeze you soon. Okay, right about now. Gotcha, now you're, you're stuck there and this should be the last one right here. Boom, come on, there's a little bit more, don't run. There it is, uh, Dr. Zomboss's revenge is a failure. Awesome. That was really close for sure. But he's gonna call surrender. Yeah, like I'm gonna believe that one. But look at that, we do get a, a diamond for it. Whew, tough level for sure.
but that is not our final trophy. We still have three more left to get. So like I said before, these three trophies, as far as I can remember, I've never, are these three mini games. I've never played. These are Bomb All Together, Home Run Derby, and Air Raid. What is Bomb All Together? Uh, guess we're about to see. There's a lot of zombies here. 25 bombs? Bomb plants are limited. Okay. Uh, to complete the level, destroy all of the zombies before the plants run out. We have 25 bombs. Huh. So maybe I'll do some potato mines, but just have them in the back? This is so odd. Um, I don't know exactly how we wanna do it. Okay, I could cherry bomb some of them. Maybe I should wait for as many zombies to pop up as possible and do a doom shroom. But at the same time, I don't know. We also have walnuts, which the walnuts, I don't know if that counted as a bomb. I wasn't really looking. Uh, let's do this here. Boom. We got more potato mines popping up. That's sort of good. What, will this wake them up sooner? Coffee beans can only be planted on sleeping mushrooms. I know that, but this is so weird. I've never even heard of this one before. Okay, ready? Boom, got rid of a couple of them. We do have a few more doom streams. It might be worth doing it sooner rather than later, considering everything that's going on here. Oh yeah, it's sleeping. Okay, duh. Let's see what that explodes. Not all of them, but a good chunk. So I'm really curious, here's another bomb. That'll bring us down to 16. I do a cherry bomb here. Got it. And then more potato mines for now. But what I'm really curious about, right, is if the walnuts count as a bomb. Obviously it wouldn't, so if I could just get to a position where more of those guys are popping up, maybe that'd be better. Here, let's do, maybe if you because I don't have walnuts protecting this side, we'll get a golden coin out of that. I'm down to 12 bombs now, so that's definitely a bit scarier. Uh, okay, walnut, we have 11. It does not go down to 10, so that's perfect. You know what's not so perfect, though, is this guy walking over with his, his, his ladder. Uh, should I do anything about it? I don't know, I think we're fine. I'm a little bit more focused on some of the other spots. Okay, here comes the gargantuar. So what we wanna do is maybe torch this, Boom. Let's do Doom Shroom right about here. And hope that that's enough to damage everybody. It actually did not reach. <laughs> it did not reach the Gargantuar. Okay, it's fine, because we can just set up some more Walnuts. And I'll save another Walnut there. But what I could do is maybe a Potato Mine. I don't know if it's worth doing a Potato Mine. I think we should do a Cherry Bomb right about here. Boom, that's gonna get him. Excellent, and then another Cherry Bomb. Here. So we're down to seven bombs. Maybe I should just wait? This is the weirdest minigame. Okay, here comes a pogo zombie. I don't wanna deal with that, but we will put a potato mine here and I think that would be enough to get rid of them. I mean, these walnuts, we have a lot of them. We can really just buy a lot of time. with. Is it just gonna be infinite walnuts now? <laughs> Not quite, but felt like it for a second. Come on, will this explode him? Wait, it won't? Wait, it won't? Wait, 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 wait. No way! I thought that they would still explode on him. The darn pogo zombie gets me. I could have sworn that would have worked. Wait, we were so close to the end, too. That was definitely an experience. So this time I've been building a bit of a wanna army, if not anything else. And the hope with this one is that I'm just trying to get them all a little bit closer. Okay, let's see if I can't actually cherry bomb this zombie soon, or that the gargantuar soon. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I have 14 bombs left over, so I have to be a little bit picky with exactly how we do this. But if I have them around this whole section, um, I'm able to get a doom shroom to sort of pop them off. The only problem right now is I don't have any of the coffee beans. Yeah, I think something like this might be good. And then we'll do this. I'll wait for them to get a little bit closer. He's holding the zombie, which is cool. Uh, not super common that you see that. I just need to wait for them to bunch up a little bit more. You know what, yeah, let's go for it, right there. And then another cherry bomb right here. Not enough to get that one guy though, so we'll put a potato mine back this way, and then also do this. Now we're down to nine bombs. I gotta be very careful with how I do this then. But I would like 
to also get rid of this group. Okay, potato mine here, we're down to seven. But if they're no farther than like right here and I doom shroom here, it gets every zombie in the group. That's why it's probably good to get more walnuts, but unfortunately they're not really giving me any more. Uh, here, I'll get another potato mine here. Oh, they're not, just not giving me any more. Wow, okay, so I thought it would still just give me like an infinite amount coming in, but I guess it doesn't quite work that way. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm hoping that this is just like the last group here. As far as I can tell, it might be. But it also might not be. I'm so confused. Uh, but if I were to put a Doom Shroom, oh, I might want to wait for them to come out just a little bit more. This is such an odd mini game. It takes a lot of getting used to. Now the final wave is coming in. I might be in big trouble. Um, but maybe I'm not, maybe I'm fine. If we cherry bomb this, I get some coins out of it. Then I, so one, two, three, four, five. So it gives me exactly the amount of bombs I could use. I didn't know if there was a point where I could accidentally use too many. It's like, oop, game over. That's what I've been trying to prepare for. So if we doom shroom this like this, ready? Boom, we get some of those guys beat up. Now, uh, that's a little scary, but if I go like this and I wake you up, and I still have two jalapenos left over. So if, even if this doesn't work out, there we go, what a weird mini game. Like I said, I've never even heard of that one before this. So that was an interesting experience. So bomb all together finished. That means we have two more mini games left to go for. Right over here we have um, Home Run Derby. Now this one's really cool. So as you can see, we have this guy who's throwing the basketballs, but also the brand new baseball zombies. Never before seen, right? Play ball. Uh, swipe the ball with the stylus to, to bat. Okay. Um, you need 30 home runs to complete the level. So this might be a little bit difficult, but we'll try it. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it another try. There we go. That's a home run, right? That's got to count as a home run. How is that not? There we go. Home run. Send it out of there. Let's go ahead and get a potato mine there. There's another one. This is fun. This is really cool. All right, ready? Got it. A few more sun for that. Everybody's eyes go to the sky as they see us knock it out of the park. That is so much fun. Oh, that's a foul ball. For sure a foul. And I guess we could, if we wanted to, have a chomper here. Maybe something like that would be a good idea. But while we're placing stuff, we still need to hit those home runs. This is such a cool mini game. Oh, no. Let's try again. Um, let's do another potato mine right about there. Oh, I wasn't ready for that one. Got it. And look, you can see even little baseball zombies on the other screen, which uh, is really the only time we've seen custom zombies to much capacity. Really, that didn't, okay, now I'm in trouble. Let's do this here. I'm a little nervous now that I might have messed everything up. I can't believe that potato mine seems like it took extra time. I did notice there's no lawnmower on the center lane, which makes me think that's probably just, oh wow, these guys move super quick, I'm just now realizing. Uh, That was the issue. Oh, we can knock the zombies out with it, though. New definition of you are out of here. Wait, 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 ah, <laughs> come on. So I guess that's another strategy here is we could just knock the zombies out. A lot easier said than done, though. I think that for the most part, not worth doing. Come on, yeah, I really can't intentionally do that too much. This is tough because we're supposed to just be hitting home runs. So let's just focus on that for now. Let's not get too carried away with, uh, that's our 10th home run. We need to hit 20 more. I don't know if we'll actually succeed here with this one. How is that not a home run? That went flying pretty far. Got it. Um, I'm just gonna have a chomper eat you. There we go. There's another home run. We're up to 12 of them. So I'm almost at the halfway mark. So even if I did this, I don't know if that would be enough. So maybe we put a walnut here. All right. And if we can hit this one, ah, oh, that would have been a home run. If we just hit it in the right direction. It's, it's a little bit difficult, but we're making it work. Oh, come on, what happened there? Oh geez, I'm a little bit nervous. See, I don't know, you have to hit it with a lot of velocity, not just a good direction. Like that. Luckily this one baseball zombie is taking a ton of time. So it gives us a good opportunity to, uh, oh, come on, didn't even knock the zombie out. 
but it does give us an opportunity to hit some of these without having to worry about any more. But here they come. This is where it gets a bit scarier. Just another home run. I will cherry bomb right there. Oh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me. Come on, come on. I don't have enough to deal with all this. I guess we'll do this. I might be done for here. Come on, throw another ball. Throw another ball, come on. Throw it, throw it. What are you waiting for? Ugh, scary. Do that, I need one more. I'm just gonna have to let the wall, wand mower get the other one. Oh, you are kidding me. At least we're getting better at it as time goes on. So now that should buy me enough time to do that. Down to just one more lawn mower. So this is just where it's a total mess. So baloney. We're 21 out of 30. How do I wanna handle this? Not too many options. I will do this, and then I will chomper. Got it. Or 24 home runs. If we can just keep going for a little bit longer, we'll be fine. Got it. Luckily, they're very slow when it comes to actually eating through walnuts. So if we can just hit four more, no, come on. So scary. Got it. Three more to go. The pressure is really on now. Got it, two more to go, two more to go. Oh, got a big coin out of it too. One more home run while the giant wave is approaching. Can we do it in time? Yes, we can. Home run derby is finished. That was so cool. And once again, a totally unique mini game to the DS version. Interesting experience, right? That means we have one more mini game trophy left to get, and that is going to be my favorite one, Air Raid. This is so cool. We get to play as this pea shooter, we get to drag it around and it becomes like this shoot 'em up game. Move the flying galling pea with the stylus, avoid wrenches, and defeat Dr. Zomboss. Look at how cool this is. It's like an extra final boss against Zomboss. Oh man, we got the ice ball coming in here too. So I'm just clicking and dragging um, to avoid all these obstacles as much as I can. It's like an electric ball that's bouncing around. And it's just, this is such an underknown fight, an underappreciated fight. Whoa, zombie heads too? Not many people even know this is a thing. The Galling Pete just, you know, fires as much as I can. We're beating up Dr. Zomboss as much as possible. Getting his health bar lower and lower. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Ooh. Zomboss has quite the arm on him now. I can say that much. We are losing health a little bit every time we get hit, so we gotta be very careful. Oh no, jalapeno. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Nice, so that's really cool. There's so many new and fun concepts in this. It makes me want just like a whole PVZ game themed after this. We'll get rid of all these zombie heads, I guess. Come on, keep it going, pea shooter, you got this. Ooh. Nice, that damaged him a little bit more. Oh man. So I think we're trying to fill his health up with green. The same thing with us. So right now he is sort of in the lead. Oh man, these are following me around now. That's a little crazy. Come on, come on, explode. Didn't really hit him too much there. Jeez, he's really hurt and they're hard to dodge. This might take a couple of tries, who knows, but we are getting better. Man, he is throwing those everywhere. Come on, come on, a three-peater sounds amazing right now. Whoa. Ouch, there it is, there it is. Help me out, three Peter. Whoa, it's a three Peter upgrade. This is so cool. Uh-oh, where's he going? What, are you afraid of us? Oh man, here, get, let's get another three Peter upgrade. So I guess it's only for a limited time that we get the three Peter upgrade. Definitely helps us stay defended, but I don't even know where he is at the moment. Uh, Yeah, I can't even really attack him. Is this supposed to be a thing? Oh, the pumpkin upgrade. I would really like that. There we go. Now we're super defended too. It looks so cool. Man, this is such a fun idea. Come on, we're catching up a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I need it. Oh, that was close. Our pumpkin is cracking apart. He's gonna try to hit us. Oh, we got it, we got it. Come on, just fire everything we have at him. Okay, ready? Ah. Okay, could have been better, could have been better. We are so close to getting it. And then, whoa, we got him! The air raid defeated. The flying zombie boss has been taken down. That was so cool. Oh man, I love it.
that is honestly one of the coolest things in just like Plants vs. Zombies history. Attention deficit achievement. Uh, okay. Cool, I guess I might just be forgetting all of the trophies. It says keep on collecting those trophies, but that was the last minigame one. So there we go. We've completed all 22 minigames throughout the last few episodes to um, get all of the trophies. So we can head back for now. Um, and if we wanted to, we could check out the achievement that says that. But um, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go to the Zen Garden and see some of the new Zen Garden plants we got. You can see, yeah, there's a few things waiting for us here. Uh, so we might as well make as many of these marigolds happy. I do want to move these ones because sometimes I'll ask for things. And I can't tell if it's a water or a... What's it called? There we go. If they're asking for water, or if they're asking for fertilizer because of the angle of it. So I'm just gonna do this instead. Um, well, we might as well get Stinky to start moving. We can give him one of the brand new chocolates uh, right here. Okay, enjoy it, buddy. And of course, let's water our new plant over here. We only got one Zen Garden plant in today's episode, unfortunately. You can see Stinky moves a lot more often, which can be helpful. Okay, so. More of these plants are asking for fertilizer too. We'll give it to them in just a moment. Oh no, that was the wrong one. Very easy to get sort of confused there. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed those mini games, especially the brand new ones. Those will leave a really big impression on me, especially the air raid one. That was so, so cool. Okay, it looks like, oh, we can upgrade you. So you are gonna be a little onion or is it onion? Is it garlic? It's garlic, it's garlic. Uh, so let's go ahead and shop a little bit. Can't really buy too much more, but I just wanna buy some more uh, fertilizer. So whenever you're ready, Crazy Dave. Got it, got it, and got it. Three of them should be good enough for now. It'll give us like, what, 15 in total? Yep, okay, so water, whichever ones still need watering. And like I said, I'll continue to grow the Zen Garden between episodes so that we have a lot of stuff going on, but we just need a few more here. Three more need to be grown up before we're all done. That, this one, and then one more right down here. So our Zen Garden is growing and thriving. We've completed all the mini games, but there's still plenty more left to enjoy in this game. Things like puzzle, survival, and versus are coming up next. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies for the Nintendo DS. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.